going on YouTube? I am back with another video. I am making some air fried uh, pork chops or pork chitzels is what it says in the uh, caloric air fryer max. I've already gotten a couple uh, nice and battered up. Um, it's pretty simple. Pork chops, um, your seasoned flour, um, your panko breadcrumbs. I like the Italian seasoning. You can use Italian or plain. And this is your mixture, egg batter mixture. It's just the eggs, um, some Worcestershire sauce, and some garlic powder. So um, it's pretty simple, pretty three, you know, three step process. It's gonna dip it in your uh, seasoned flour. Lightly dip it and you're gonna just shake off any excess flour. You're gonna just uh, dip it in the uh, little egg mixture. Nice quick uh, recipe. And uh, last stop, last step is pretty much dipping it uh, in the uh, panko breadcrumbs. So once you finish um, doing all of that, um, you are going to sit um, your pork chops in the refrigerator for about a good 15 minutes so it can settle in. And we're going to do that and I will be back. All right, so I am getting ready to uh, throw these bad boys in the air fryer. The last thing I like to do is um, just like to brush a um, little olive oil on it. It helps with um, the color, as far as I'm concerned. Just kind of dab it on there. I really need to get a uh, regular brush. These um, plastic brushes are not that good, but we will make it work. And um, I'm kind of speeding through these videos, kind of chop them up for you. I know you don't want to go through the whole drawn out process. All right, so we got one side, flip them over. That one's already done. Yeah, you're pretty much just gonna. like that so once you brush them down both sides with uh, olive oil it's gonna go right ahead and uh, transfer them over um, to the uh, air fryer basket So depending on the size, you can comfortably fit, you can see, five on there. That one's pretty big, so. Alright, so we are going to put it at the air fryer level. That one up top is like quick air fryer. So we're going to put it at this level right here. And it's uh, 375. For five minutes on each side. I did kind of preheat it, so 
Um, what I've noticed is that I've always had to add time. So instead of it taking a total of 10 minutes, it takes me like maybe 15 or 16 minutes. So um, we'll see what it do today um, because I did kind of heat it up before I put it in there. So I've used this air fryer about gotten it. So it's uh it's still doing pretty good other than the mishap with um using a harsh uh, cleaning product on here but we're gonna check back in about three or four minutes and um see how it's doing as you can see it's a minute left it hasn't really um uh, cooked that much so that's why i'm saying is that the directions uh that's included always says five minutes on each side but I'm pull it out real quick as you can see it doesn't really cook like I said I usually like to do eight minutes on each side so I've already done five so I'm just gonna uh, press the button turn the clock and add uh, three more minutes and I'm gonna let it roll all the way out to the three minutes and then we're gonna check it and flip it over. So as you can see, it has stopped. It has been a total of eight minutes. I'll just get my little tray out, sit it right there. So it's been a total of eight minutes. Uh, as you can see, looks good. The olive oil really helps with the color as well. So, I'm just going to um, flip these bad boys around and stick them in the air fryer on the opposite side for um, eight minutes as well. I'm going to flip over one so as you can see how the uh, other side looks. So I'll be back. So it's about three minutes left. I really have to find a good cleaner for this. So it's about three minutes left. As you can see, it's always like one side that will cook faster than another side. So I'm going to switch those two. over to the middle everything else is oops cooking pretty good and even the end is almost near As you can see not much drip down at the bottom there's no smoke when I first bought this thing it would be like really really hot around here it's not as hot anymore so the glass is hot, but up here. So make sure you keep it away from kids. But it looks like it's pretty much done. Pop it open. What do you think, done or another minute or two? Oh, it's done. All right, so we are done. I'm gonna just pop this out right here. And I have my little food temp check. Perfect. So 
so as you can see they're all done so like I said the instructions say five minutes on each side I would do eight minutes I would do eight minutes so I'm just gonna grab one let's see we're gonna grab this one let's see back side came out a little bit dark Nice and done. Yep. Pretty good. But that's all I want to show you. Peace.